I know he foolishly did not plan anything for you. And I am very, very sure that he did not even call you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hip. Mom. Sweetheart. <laughs> Mom, good morning. Good morning, my darling. Oh, thank you so much, mommy. Thank you, my dear. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Oh my I God. wish you all the good things life can offer. Amen. Amen, mommy. Thank mm. you so much. Thank you. Thank now, you. you can make your wish. Make a wish. Uh, <laughs> I wish to grow old and happier. And I also wish myself every good thing of life. Plus a good husband. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> good. Mm, oh, my, this is. Oh, it's a creamy cake. Yes. Mommy, I love creamy cakes. I Thank ordered you. it special for you. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. Thank you. This You're is welcome. beautiful. Ah, oh, my dear. I wish. In fact, I just hope. Your next birthday will be celebrated with your husband. Yes. Uh, mommy, the day is just starting. Don't you think it's too early for you to reunite? Come on. Huh? I know the day is just starting. But we have to tell ourselves the truth. My daughter, you are 31. You need to settle down. Okay? Mom, I have Damien. And the relationship is still young. Don't you think you have to slow it down? Let's see where this relationship is leading to. Come on. Please. I don't think with Damien that, that relationship is leading to anywhere. Damien is not serious. Can't you see? He is a joker. I want the best for you. I want to I, I want you to get serious with your life. I want you to get a good man and get married. Oh, hi, big sis. You're welcome. Oh, my sweetness. The latest undergraduate in town. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Welcome, darling. Yeah? Thank you, sis. Okay, let me just go in and freshen up. I'll see you All later. Right. Hmm? Hold on, sis. What is it? Breaking news for you too. Oh, what is it? I am seeing someone. Oh, wow. You are seeing someone. Yes, sis. Ah, I see. You're seeing someone in your first year in the university when you're supposed to be focusing on your studies, right? Uh, Susan? Sis? No. Eh, 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 eh. Please. Just allow her. Don't discourage her. This is how we were supporting you when you were so much engrossed with this school of a thing. At the end, it killed the time you were supposed to mingle and focus on other things. Mom, what exactly are you implying? You should allow her. Maybe this is her time. Sis, he's even talking about marriage. Not just this boyfriend and girlfriend stuff. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen it? Ifugia, your younger sister. Eh? The man is even talking about marriage. You, you are not even dreaming about that any longer. So allow her, okay? I have been waiting tirelessly for you to pop the question. But you're not forthcoming. 
It is taking forever. And I cannot wait any longer because I don't want to lose you. So I decided to do the needful. Will you marry me? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? Come on, man. At least expect this from you. Where is this coming from? Is this desperation? I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I just want to have a man of my own. I'm I here. want to have my own man. But I'm here. Alright, I'm always here. Why, why the rush? Listen, I'm going to give you your dream proposal. Alright? But you just have to be patient with me. taking your call. What's wrong? I told you I have a problem clearing my goods. All the investors are on my neck. I do not know what to tell them. So what's the remedy? 15 million. I need about 15 million naira to clear those goods. I spent over 4 billion naira to get the goods alone. 15 million? Yeah. You see why I told you to use the right source? Hmm? Is this what you're supposed to be saying at this point? Well, it's fine. I know you don't want to help me. I'll look for another source. Come I don't on. know why everybody's acting up like this. Come on, baby. No, you don't want to help me. It's fine. I'll look for another way. It's fine. I will sort it out. I promise. You will? Mm-hmm. You go with me to the bank tomorrow morning. Oh, God, you darling. Thank you for your you lifesaver. Thank you so much. I know he foolishly did not plan anything for you. And I am very, very sure that he did not even call you. <laughs> well, we were just having a very good conversation. A conversation that started on a very good note. Now you want to ruin it. Why? No, I am not ruining anything. I know what I'm saying. Is that your serious boyfriend that is ruining everything? All I am telling you to do is to get a good serious man and not a mama's boy. Can't you see? Open your eyes. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, <clears throat> congratulations. You have the job. What? So you will be resuming work on Monday. It's last if you're ready. Wow. Oh, oh, just like that. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for this. You're welcome. But point of correction, not just like that. I took a look at your credentials, the ones I have here, and then I asked questions. And that is how you got the job, because you are the most qualified amongst all the other candidates that applied for it, okay? So it's not just like that. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. You really don't know this, but what it means to me is uh, thank you very much. You're and I, I promise to you, I will never disappoint you. Of course. It's a promise. And I am looking forward to seeing how you will help move this company forward. I'll do my best. 100%. I expect that. Hey, 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 hey. I know, I know, I know, I know you all mad at me right now, but I am sorry. Okay? I am really sorry, babe. I guess this is how you treat your woman on a special day, right? Hell no! Come on! Listen, 
Having you in my life every day makes every day a special day. I don't plan to celebrate you on your special days alone because my heart celebrates you every freaking day. Huh? <laughs> you were not picking your calls all day. You were practically nowhere to be found. What do you have to say about that? Well, that's because a lot happened. Of right? course. But that's a story for another day because right now, I want you to shut down everything you're doing. Because I'm taking you out. I want to spoil you, silly. Hmm? How about that? <laughs> I am still angry with you. Come on. Huh? Seems like someone has something planned out today. Oh, yeah? But I'm still angry with you. I know. And I want to make it up to you, my love. I want to make it up to you. Um, are we huh? going right away? Right away. Oh, come I'll on. I'll grab your bag, baby. I, I've oh. got work to do. Hey. Mom, good evening. Yes, Mom. So, after everything, you still went out to eat him. Why can't you just forget about that boy and know that he is of no good? No, come on. What is this? No, really, what is this? You are the one who has a personal problem with this guy, not me. So why are you dragging me into it? Besides, he can't just propose to me straight up. It's not done that way. Is that what you think? A man who knows what he wants doesn't need ages. Does he? Mom, I just got back from work. I am tired. I need rest. Okay, we will talk about this. You wrote this? Yes, madam. I see. Impressive. Thank this you. is good. Thank you. This is good. All I need to do is uh, one or two touches and we're there. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is good. Well done, Mr. Maxwell. This is... This is your first day at work, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. For... For a first day, this is beautiful. I'm impressed, okay? And, um... The company looks forward to better days with you. Thank and you so far, much. I must say, I am impressed with your contribution to the company. You're Thank doing you. good. Thank you. You are doing well. Thank you, madam. <laughs> You're welcome. So um, remember to work on the other two presentations, okay? I will work on the last one. I will have done. to be fast about it. As as I don't matter. Good. Um, one more thing. As regards to what happened the other day, please, when you're still walking into my office, make sure to knock. Right. To avoid situations like that. Babe, what is that that's going on? Hmm? Is your legal advisor not back yet? Oh. Mr. Dono? Yeah. He's been back since two weeks now. Why didn't you tell me that? I thought you said he was the one we were waiting for before you make me a signatory to the company's account and also make me part of the team. I know. <sighs> Babe. Yes. What is the guarantee that you're not going to leave me? <gasps> what, what in God's name are you talking about? Where's that coming from? I know you are also rich. But no 
making you part of my company? I need an assurance. Only a court wedding could make me do that. <laughs> you know I'm supposed to be mad at you right now for what you just said. For not trusting me. But at the same time, I am happy for the fact that you want to marry me. Of course. I've been so scared to pop the question because I feel you've met lots of wealthy and influential people. <laughs> really? Yes. You are rich. <laughs> and now you're saying it like I'm one of the richest men in Africa. <laughs> of course you are. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Of course, I am. <laughs> mm. ah. I want you to know that I love you so much. And I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. Please. <laughs> and uh, I also want to let you know that I can't wait to walk down the aisle with you. So, let the process begin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, the proposal has to be done rightly by you. Of course. <laughs> it will be done rightly by me. Are you serious? Yeah, I will. Trust I love me. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You must be a fool to think ordinary court wedding can keep the men. You will be shocked when I am I'm coming to be with you forever. <sighs> me too. Alright? <laughs> Feel alright. Babe, I'm stuck right now. I seriously need your help. Well, that's not a big problem. I mean, if your goods are seized, I can call the Controller General of Custom. Huh? Put a call across to him and fix it. Except you didn't go through the right channel to bring in your goods. Mm? Oh yes, I... That's the point. I have my sources. Alright? Listen, if you have money, just help me out right away. What are we talking about? I, I spent over 4 billion naira to get those goods to Nigeria. What? Yeah. That's huge. Now you see, 50 million naira is nothing compared to what's at stake. Please. Um, you know what? I will put a call across to my bank officer to make some transfers to your account. But it has to be tomorrow morning because I need to sign some papers. Now you're talking, man. Now you're talking. Hi, Dixie. Hi, Mom. Uh -uh. Where is this coming from? Oh, eggs from my beloved Moses. Uh -uh. I thought you said Moses lives in Canada. So, how was he able to send you a gift? Yes, sis. Maybe he ordered it from any vendor residing in this city. Wow. That's very romantic of him. Okay. Eh? <laughs> so you still remember the word romantic? Oh God. No. Don't start with big sis. My darling, God bless you. God bless you for always saving me. <laughs> Mom, this is not funny. Like, in fact, let me just go up. Let me go up and freshen up. I'm tired. And why would you stop looking at that picture like that? How can I stop? I can never get tired of recalling a beautiful moment like this. You know, we look cute together. 
and we're going to have beautiful moments for the rest of our lives. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. When are we going to do the traditional marriage? Where my parents and my friends will come together. That should be um, when we're ready. Yes, when we're ready. What do you mean someone tried to hack into the company's database? Well, madam, it's strange, but... It's a fact. It's the truth. Anyways, uh, you have nothing to worry about that because uh, we've taken care of it. But our, our advice we get is software engineer that will hold our strong room fair. Because it's lacking. You know what? Um, assemble the team. Okay? We're going to sit down and look into this. Alright. I'll do that as soon as possible. Big says. What's the problem? Why are you doing all this? You don't look good at all. Susan, I am not alright. I have not spoken to Damien for some time now. I don't even know where he is. Are you sure he's fine? He's fine because his phone, his phone rings. When I call, his phone rings. If he's not fine, his phone wouldn't be ringing. Right? That's true. Have you considered going to his place? I don't even know where to go to. That's the problem. Because he always talks about relocating. And the only place I've been to is his site, which is not completed yet. So, so he won't be there. That's so bad. But whatever the case may be, you don't have to hurt yourself, sis. Okay? Just relax. Take your time. I am sure he will reach out soon. <laughs> Susan, I don't know why my... Why I am always unlucky. Why can't I just have a normal love life like everyone else? Why? You just have to relax yourself, okay? Please. I'm tired. Beautiful face has misled me again Your beautiful voice has made me believe everything you said Hey So you still have my number? Um, um, I know you're mad at me right now, but I'm, I'm sincerely sorry Okay, I had an urgent call to Singapore so I had to rush down there for some business you know, to take care of them there. And also I had to go to Paris, yeah, for shopping. Sorry I didn't let you know. And you did all this without telling me. Don't you know I have been worried sick about you? I'm so sorry about that. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming by the office to, to see you, alright? It's okay, I'm just, I'm just waking up now. I'll see you later at the office. Alright, I'll meet you up at the office. You know, Damien, you can't just go MIA whenever you feel like and then come back and pretend everything is all right. Well, I'm sorry. All right? I'm sorry, my love. You see, you work so hard as a woman. It will be failure on my part if I do not work twice as hard as you. No one said you shouldn't work hard. You should have just placed the call. No, Damien, what happened to calling? Like telling me this is your whereabouts or this is what is going on with you. You just went MIA like that. I'm sorry. Well, it's not okay. And sorry does not do it. You know, I just want you to shut us down. I want to have a good time. But my woman, I want to take you out. You see, this is the problem. 
right now you're being selfish because I've got work to do and I'm not just going to shut down my work because you want to go out with your woman. Postpone. Postpone it, my love. Babes, I have serious work to do. I know. That's why I said postpone it. Hmm? Let's have a good time together. I planned this out already. So let's have it. Let's have it. Hmm? <laughs> she just have a way of making me do what I don't want to do. And that's not fair. And that's a yes. <laughs> Come on, my love. Let's go. So where exactly are we going to? Somewhere. Yes, Master, what is it? Oh, oh. Uh... Madam, are you, are you going out? I'm coming in. As you can see. What is it? Oh, uh, Madam, you, you have a meeting in 30 minutes time and another one in two hours time. Well, you will have to cancel every appointment and we schedule every meeting for tomorrow, okay? Oh, oh, madam, Madam, please, we can't do that. Tomorrow is already too tight. Schedule for tomorrow is choked. Uh, so hey, hey, we can't... Uh, boy, boy, uh, boy, 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 you are the boss. My baby. We share the move everything for tomorrow. Okay? And go back behind the office and do your job. Baby. Let's go. Let's go, darling. You know I'm going to stop spending nights in the hotel instead of your house. Mm -hmm. I thought we went to my side together. My house is not ready yet. Don't worry. Once my house is ready, we'll move in together and start making plans for us. Mm. <laughs> I like the sound of that. I know you like the sound. I it is like am sound. waiting. <laughs> I cannot wait to move uh, in with you. I know. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. Maybe I hope you're not. Stop! I can't go again. I'm tired. <laughs> tired. I know. I know you're tired. You're Thank lazy. you. Too. Come, stop that. That's not true. I know you're lazy. I don't know what you took. Today's one was too. different. <laughs> hey. A bit of shaker. <laughs> I took a bit of shaker. <laughs> <laughs> all this for goodness sake. He's not taking his calls. What's going on? When did he start staying up late? Jeez. I just hope he's fine. I just hope everything is okay. Oh, holy Jesus. Holy Jesus, holy Jesus, holy Jesus. I think I know what to do. What is it? I didn't realize my phone has been ringing. I need to go right away. Go? Yes. Uh, baby, I thought you were spending the night here. No, I, I have some office files to take care of. Come on, babes. You can do it tomorrow. I've got to submit them tomorrow. Alright? I can't do them tomorrow. I need to do them this night. Baby. Baby, you're okay. Sorry, I had a bad day. Bad day? 
Yeah. You almost killed me with high blood pressure. What happened? You, you were not picking your calls. My car broke down the very lonely parts. I had to get a mechanic to fix it. Afterwards, the traffic was crazy. I'm, I'm just tired and exhausted. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, my love. Missed you. Did you miss me? I missed you too. I just, I just want to, I just want to rest right now. Smile a little bit. I'm not in the mood to smile right now. I just want okay, to go there. Okay, just go in and freshen up, okay? While I go to the kitchen and make a food. I just want to freshen up and sleep. You don't want to eat? <sighs> no, no. Babe. What do you think about that proposal? If you ask me, I tell you. This proposal is going to do a whole lot for this company and it's going to bring you back to limelight. Our company is already in the limelight. <laughs> you don't see what's happening, huh? There are lots of other companies which are coming up. Great companies. I tell you what. I will have to go through this with my project management. Then we will see how we can come in. Hmm? But for the meantime, I I like what I see. I like it. Well, I'll be waiting to hear from you soon, my darling. Hmm? Do you know you're too business conscious? That was how you traveled the other time, stayed two weeks without telling me. Because I'm trying to make enough money so I can be able to give you the lifestyle you deserve. Hmm? Thank you so much, baby. I love you. I love you too. And you own my heart. You own everything. Forever. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> mm. Madam, God. Yes, Maxwell. Um, I need you and your team to work on this proposal. It's very important to me to have, but um, I don't want to handle it myself. Okay, so work on it and get back to me, okay? It's very dumb. As fast as possible. Thank you. Okay, I'm there now. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, please, sir. How are you? Okay. okay. Oh, listen. I need all his information. Okay. Okay? Okay. A comprehensive details about him. Okay. Good. Good job. No stress. Hmm? Alright. So send me your account number. Okay. And um, give me like two weeks. I'll get all the information about this dude. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll wait. Yes, sir. Like I said. Good job. Yes, sir. He's insisting I visit him in Canada. He's ready to pay for everything. <sighs> My daughter, there is a saying that goes like this. If you want to know the depths of water, you use a stick, not human being. Stick, very long one. If your husband happens to be in Canada and he wants you as his wife to come and see him, I have no problem about that. No! There's no problem. No. You're saying a different thing. Moses is not my husband yet. Exactly. He is not your husband yet. He should come down and do the needful. You don't expect me to allow you to travel from here to Canada to see someone I know nothing about. It's not possible. Mom, is there anything wrong with it? It's just a visit. I will be back. It's just a visit. I can't believe you're saying this. Excuse me. Yeah, madam, you, you sign this place. This place. This other place. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Is that all? Yes, ma'am. Um, 
Maxwell, what? I would prefer you call me Melissa or Miss Benson. Uh, Calling me madam or ma'am makes me feel old, okay? Yes, madam. Oh, oh, noted. Okay, um, here. Um, how about the proposal I gave you? How, how far have you gone? Oh, yes. My team and I want to do more investigation. So please, you, you give us a little time to get back to you. Okay. Take all the time you want, but you have to be very fast, okay? Yes, boss. Time is of the essence. Yes, boss. Thank you. Susan, you know I cannot help you talk to mom about this. I can't. Why? Because it's absurd. It's absurd. I can't. How can you travel all the way to go see a man? A man you don't even know. You've not seen him before. And you want to go and see him. What if this guy is dangerous? What if he's a ritualist or something? Huh? Ritualist in Canada. Oh, my darling, there are bad people everywhere. Have you not heard of organ harvesters? You've not heard of psychopaths? What is wrong with you? Are you supporting mom? Sis? Of course I am. I am supporting mom on this. <sighs> Listen, Susan. If a man truly loves you, he would come looking for you. He would come and see you first in your comfort zone, not the other way around. You can't just travel all the way to Canada to go see a man you've never met before just because you guys talk on the phone. It's not right. See the way I'm begging you. I see I'm your boyfriend. Stop begging me. Babes, come on. A young girl like you, a beautiful spinster like you, joining an old people club. I mean, people in their 50s. <laughs> Are you serious? Very serious, darling. Very serious. Do, do you know that those people you're calling old people mm -hmm. were actually young before they joined the club? Do you know that? Mm -hmm. My dear, you're going to benefit from this program. Let me tell you something. Do you know they are bringing speakers that will be talking about marriage and love? See? This is exactly why I don't want to join. Why will I go there, sit down, listening to marriage talks when I'm not married? Girl, yeah, this is for married people, not for spinsters like us. Get it. Are you huh? serious that you're very not going serious. with me? Very, very serious. I know you're joking. You'll go. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. You go. Mm, boss lady. I guess that day, that said day, what you will do is get rope. Come with rope. Tie it around my neck and drag me to the place. Exactly. I'll get a very good rope. You know those rope they use in tying cows? Yeah? By the time I tie it around your neck, tie it around your waist, let me see how you're not going. With me. So you're indirectly saying I'm a cow? No, I didn't say that. Lizzie, it is time for you to go. You've overstayed your welcome. Let me see you off. Are you, are you asking me to leave now? Exactly, darling. Oh, you can't be serious now. How will you tell me to leave your office? That's good. You're not going anywhere. Hey? <laughs> My God. You know, if I have one wish, I would wish to spend the rest of my life with you in my arms forever. Please, accept this token of love for me, to you, and make me the happiest man on planet Earth. Wow. Will you marry me? Please say yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Take the ring. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Now check that out. Check that oh. out. Check that out. Oh my gosh. I am very worried, Mom. He stopped reaching out. What if he truly cares? If he truly cares, he will come looking for you. Even if you are living in slums or far world, he will come looking for you. Huh? But why can't I do the same, Mom? 
That's the same thing he wants me to prove. My dear, you are a woman. We are African. Men chase women, not the other way around. Don't bring problem to me. Or plan to do anything behind my back. I will not take it. I will not. No, mommy. I won't. He has not been taking my courses. Susan. I really think you should forget about this guy. Because I don't understand which guy, what guy, refuses to answer his girlfriend's calls just because the girl asked him to come over instead of her coming over. Somebody you've never seen before. And you told him to come to, to, to your comfort zone and he stopped picking your calls just like that. Can't you see? This is, this is, a, this is a red flag. Yes, it's a red flag. Except the guy is not okay. He, he's in off feeling fine. Is he sick or something? Is something wrong with him? He's fine. I'm seeing his activities online. Exactly my point. So he is just ignoring you for nothing just because you asked him to come. This, this is wrong. So if he cannot come over, he wants you to come. That means he does not love you enough. And it is wrong. As a matter of fact, I'm not even advising you. I am instructing you. I am commanding you to stop saying this guy. My team rejected it. Our company did not engage in such projects. Now, what do you mean your team rejected it? All right, tell me, what projects do your team or your company Engaging. You can check the company info. Really? So when were you going to tell me that the project I submitted to you was rejected by your company? What am I even talking about? Our company! I'm a playboy, he no be lying I no kill person at all at all All I do is to give you mirage And make you feel alright I'm cashing out money I'm cashing out money I no use gun for your head To take all the money from you I'm cashing out money I'm cashing out money Yeah, cause if you no get money I no get time for you I'm a Casanova, I'm a Casanova I'm using what I have to get what I want I'm a Casanova, I'm a Casanova I'm using what I have to get what I want Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh. So babe, um, you've not given me feedback based on the proposal well, um, the management team said they will have to go through it. Then give me a feedback before I can get back to you. Hmm. That's how it's done. Uh -huh. I thought you were just going to give instructions and um, the money will be approved. <laughs> Come on, babes. The money, it's not mine. It's not mine. It's the company's. Yes, which... Comprises of shareholders, associates, investors, etc. So it has to go through the right process, the right channel. They have to thoroughly look at it, approve it before I can get back to you. Just be patient. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay? Hmm? It's all right. Well, Mr. Maxwell, I expected as the head of your team that by now you should have been done reviewing the proposal. 
Oh, Melissa, it's not as easy as you think. If we must work with these people, we have to know them thoroughly. How long does it take to review a proposal, Mr. Maxwell? Besides, the proposal we're talking about was given to us by my fiancé, so it's legit. It shouldn't take long. More reason we should investigate them before doing anything with them. Please, I need just two weeks to get this done. Two weeks, you say? Yes. Fine, take two weeks. At the end of two weeks, I should be expecting result. Right? Thank you, boss. I am so disappointed at you. What is wrong with you? Eh? What is wrong with you? You have succeeded in disappointing yourself and not me. I should have listened to your sister when you were busy coming back home every now and then. Oh, eh? Look at your sister. <laughs> Look at her. What happened? Her first semester result was nothing to her right home about. Sis, is that true? And don't tell me you lacked concentration. Huh? I... <laughs> I was I was emotionally stressed. <laughs> After what Moses did to me, I could not concentrate. Mom, you see it. No, mom, do you see it? This is exactly what I was saying. You know what? You have no right to shout at her. Huh? No, you don't have any right to shout at her, mom. Because when I was busy telling her to focus on her studies, you were the one telling her to concentrate on a man so she can get married. Because everything about you is marriage, marriage, marriage. Now she's heartbroken. She has failed the exam and you're shouting. If she had concentrated on her studies, this wouldn't have happened. Both of you are useless. It's okay. It's okay. My two daughters, there is nothing to write home about you people. Oh, sorry. Hey! Um, please come with me. <laughs> when, Melissa, I was, when I was talking, you were not listening. I gave you two weeks. Yet you are not able to come up with a result. Well, I knew this was a waste of time because I know you were not going to find anything. You're so sure I wasn't going to find anything. But let me shock you. I found so many things. All I need is a few days to put my findings together, to gather my report and forward them to you. Mr. Maxwell, I am not giving you any extra day because I gave you two weeks to come up with a result and you came up with nothing. So giving you extra day is wasting my time. Really, do you think this is a joke? No, are you not serious about executing this project? As a matter of fact, you're beginning to look like you don't value your job. No, it's beginning to look like you don't value your job. You don't take your job seriously. And which begs me to ask, do you still want to work in this firm? So many questions at the same time. Few days to get my fans together and get back to you. Thank you. I'm asking you a question and you're not answering me. Why did you need a company accountant to sign a withdrawal of 10 million naira without letting me know? What are you using it for? I don't know why you're stressing yourself over personal issues like this. Why? Huh? Why? I want you to discuss any withdrawal with me. Am I understood? Come on. All the money you have been collecting, you have not even paid any. Those are little change now. Chicken change. What do you need them for? You don't need them. Baby, I might be the one running this company. But I have investors too. Please. I need to explain to them how their money went. Why are you doing this to me? Enough. Enough of all these tantrums because of 10 million naira. Come on, 10 million naira. Have you forgotten who you're talking to? I'm a big guy, I forgot. Yeah, cause if you know
get money, I not get time for you. Who is Linda? To give that phone. What's your problem? What kind of question is that? Why, why would you go through my phone? I'm your wife. I have rights. You don't have rights. You should respect boundaries. Respect privacy. You have no right to go through my phone. Do I go through your phone? You're here asking me who's Linda. Nonsense. I don't get this. I just don't get it. Why don't you just come out straight and tell me you can help me? I told you, I am waiting for the project management to get back to me. We cannot just embark on a contract like this. We have principles. What the hell are you talking? What, 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 what silly principles are you talking about? You're the freaking MD of this company mm -hmm. and you're telling me you cannot tell your employees what they should do and they do it. Damien, you are shouting. Don't tell me I'm shouting. I have every right to shout. You know what? I think it's high time I look for another company to merge with. I'm done. I'm Damien, done with this Damien, shit. Damien, can you just calm down? Can you just calm down and let's... Don't ask me to calm down! Just have a good day. I'm out of here, man. Who was that? A delivery man and it's made for sis. And you're taking it inside. You don't want me to see it. Mom, it's not yours. It's meant for sis. I want to see it. It is meant for sis. But she's my daughter. I want to see it. Mom. Maybe... Her man has decided to become romantic. Who knows? Let me see. No. Bring it here. Look at this girl. Huh? Is she your daughter? Ha! Oh. What? Mom, I don't believe this. I don't. Huh. You better believe it. You better believe it. This envelope was addressed to you. Out of curiosity, I read it. Yes. Listen, Mom. Mom, I know, I, I know you don't like Damien. But going as far as cooking this up, this is far-fetched. Huh? Come on, sis. The delivery man dropped this envelope. I receive it myself. Oh. Listen. I can't comprehend this now. And I know mom does not like Damien. But mom, you need to understand that this is a guy I am engaged to. Someone I'm about to get married to. My husband to be. I know you don't like him, but going this far. Come on. Are you out of your mind? Is anything wrong with you? Did you not read the, 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 the whole thing and the evidence on it? Mom, I read everything and I don't believe it. I guess you received the envelope I sent to you. That is the reason you promoted my like dates. You were the one who sent that nonsense. You sent that package to me. Yes. What do you aim to achieve? No, what do you hope to achieve? As a matter of fact, what gave you the right to venture into my private life? I'm Mr. Maxwell. Melissa, in the course of investigating, if the business brought to us, the fund is legit. I, I, I found out so many things, so, so many things. And I, 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 I said it to be so unfair if I don't inform you about my foundings. I don't believe you. 
I don't believe you because I know the man I am engaged to. I know Damien too well, more than you know him. And that is not the man I love. So you are wrong. Everything in that file are all lies. Nothing but lies. And you should desist from going further. As a matter of fact, there are so many things I found out that if I open my mouth to tell you, you will be shocked. You... All right, fine. All right, uh, if you're not too busy, I will want you to meet a special person in his life. Probably you will ask her who she is to Damien. Hello, Damien. Hello, Mr. Maswell. For your head to take all the money from you. I'm cashing money. I'm cashing money. money. Yeah, cause if you know get money, I not get time for you. I'm a casting over. I'm a casting over. I'm using what I have to get what I want. I'm a casting over. I'm a casting over. What I have to get what I want to yeah. Is that not Damien? That's Damien. Who is the lady with him? How many times do you kiss a guy that's hot like me? How many times do you kiss a guy that's hot that's like me? Uh, you are my ATM machine and I like you for that. But I have to browse the internet. Hey, what's up, baby? What's good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just stop, stop. What's Who was on? the woman I saw you with today? The one you opened the car door for, and you both stepped into a compound together. I saw you. Babe. You know what I say? I love you. I truly do. Right? Come on, girl. I'm too big to play games right now. I mean, why would I play a girl like you? You're everything I want in a woman. And I can never play you. All right? Damien, you've still not answered my question. Well, the woman you saw me with is my sister. Right? Yeah. She likes it when I take her around every time she comes back to Nigeria from Canada. As a matter of fact, we were actually coming from a meeting and um, I had to take her back to the house. I guess that's where you you saw us. Hmm? Is that why you've been like this? Oh, come on, darling. Come on. Well, it's not my fault. I don't know anyone around you. Not even a friend. I don't... I mean, I don't know any of your friends. Right now, you know my sister. And very soon you get to meet her. Hmm? Come on. Come here, darling. Yes, don't stop. be like this. Yes, mm -hmm. So what do you have in your fridge? Well, mm, I don't know. Just check. Don't worry, I will check I think I have stuff. soda. I have water. That's all right. That's all right, babe. Mm -hmm. Melissa. Melissa. Oh, uh, sorry. You were saying? Uh, yes. Uh, meet Mrs. Amanda Damian Okafo. Mrs. Damian Okafo. Yes. Is this some sort of joke or something? It's not a joke. I'm Mrs. Damien. Please sit. Let's talk. Oh, yeah. Sit. After you. Okay. 
Came in. Oh, welcome back. How was the day? Fine. What's all the excitement for? Because these days you've been acting up. All for you, my love. I just want to be happy. Okay? I just want to make myself happy and make you happy too. I just want all of us to be happy. I don't trust you. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not up to anything. Hey, babe. I'm sorry for everything, okay? You are my happiness. It is my duty to make you happy. Mm. And I'm sorry I've not been doing that. Please. And you hurt me with those words. Sorry. I promise. I will always make you happy. Is it promise, please? <laughs> Guess what? I'm going into the kitchen to make your favorite. <laughs> and that's the woman I married. I know. That's the part I missed so much. So, do you need help in the kitchen? You don't need to ask. You know you need help. Alright, I will um, join you shortly. Okay, I'll be ready. <laughs> and some touching. <laughs> <laughs> Not to you. Alright, my love. Alright, babe. I'm expecting you in the kitchen. Babe. <laughs> I love surprises anyway sometimes. I know. Hmm? Here. Where? Here. Here. Yeah. Babe, for you to have taken your time to do this, I know this surprise must be worth it. Yeah? Is it the car? <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> oh no. Hand over the keys, babe. How can I pack a car in the living room? This is not possible. Are we still in the living room? Mm hmm. Ah. Yeah, baby. Just hold on. I thought I thought we were outside hey, already. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Enough of the excitement, please. Yeah, I'm ready, baby. I'm taking that. I'm ready, baby. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two. <laughs> one, touch your own. Are you so crazy? Fuck up. Fuck up. You must be a very big fool. Tell me this is not true. It is, it is not true. Damien, tell me that picture is fake. It's a prank. Hey! <laughs> Do you know their faces or not? No, I, I. It's like. No familiar. You're such a bastard. Thank you. What is it that I didn't do for you? I gave you everything! I know. I was submissive to you! Just one thing. One thing! I needed from you. Your love! Your trust! Sorry, 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 
Sorry now. Sorry. Just a big thing. Jesus, 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 <laughs> Jesus. Hey, 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 sweetheart. You know, I saw you from down there, and I was so tempted to say hi. Hmm. And just say what you want to say. All right, can I get your contact or, I don't know. Really? Yes, really. So this is how you go about asking every girl you see for your contact? Nah. I'm a very busy man. I don't even have that time. Yours is an exception. <sighs> hmm? Come on, darling. Here. All right. And um, mind you, I don't appreciate it when someone disturbs me. I'm not going to disturb you, all right? Meanwhile, I'm Damien. Linda. It was nice to meet you, Linda. Hmm? Take care. Nice <laughs> <My> ass. <laughs> Ah. Mm. Hey, what's up, Linda? How are you? I am fine. I'm doing good, my love. Will you be free for dinner tomorrow? I will have to check my schedule and get back to you. All right, then. I'm waiting to hear from you, okay? All right. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, what's up, babe? Who were you talking to? Oh, I was um, talking to a business partner. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. You, you care for something? A glass of juice will do. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. All right, babe. <laughs> okay, so stop. What is that look? I have something special for you. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. <sighs> yeah. To open it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so lovely. You like it? I love it. Oh, you know what? It's been a long time someone gifted me. You see, I believe you own a very special piece in my heart. I love you. Okay. I think you should slow down right now, okay? Don't make promises you cannot keep. Thank you. It doesn't matter how long we've known each other. I believe the heart wants what it wants. Are you sure? Like, very sure. Because I wouldn't want anybody to hurt me. I'll never hurt you. <laughs> and yes, I am sure. I know exactly what I want. I want you. <laughs> I want something beautiful with you. I want a good life with you. I want to go places with you. I want a good relationship with you, babe. So now you tell me. Are you in or out? <laughs> I... Let's have it. Let's have it. <laughs> mm. 
I really appreciate everything. Okay, thank you so much. I enjoyed my time out today. I'm not a jobless man. But I'll pend everything I'm doing just to attend to your needs. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder and ask myself, where has she been all this while? Oh, please. Hmm? Really? You know, I actually thought all men are the same. Either they're after your body or your money. But to be honest with you, you showed me a different side of it. I really appreciate it. And I'll do my best to make sure I make you a happy woman forever. All right? Thank you. I might not be the best. I, I might have um, my faults here and there, but trust me, I'll try my best. It's okay. I'm sorry. I need to take this call. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Damien here. What? Another 10 million? Well, I just gave you 15 million uh, last week. Hello? He caught the call. Babe, what's the problem? Hope everything is alright. <sighs> everything is fine. I'll take care of it. I, I don't like your mood. You suddenly changed your mood. What's the problem? Can you talk to me, please? Babe, it's alright. Everything is going to be fine. Let's go. Are you sure? Yeah. days after you received that call but you refused talking to me about it I don't know why my goods of over four billion now was seized by the customs oh. yes and I have lots of investors and right now they're on my head I was asked to pay 50 million now which I did and now the people in charge are asking for an extra 10 million now. Can you imagine that? But are you sure you used the right channel? Of course I did. These are the same people who used to clear um, goods all the time. <sighs> wow. It's a huge amount of money. I'm telling you. Uh, but hold on. Are you going to pay again? Of course I have to pay. The guys who invested are on my neck right now. I don't know what to do. They're thinking I'll do them. It's okay. Is that why your face is like this? Of course, yes. That's why I'm like this. Babe, don't expect me to be happy with that kind of news. Um, okay. You hold on. Um, okay. Here. Type in your details. What? Hell no. If you want to give me 10 million naira, come on. I'm not going to take 10 million naira from a woman. Don't worry, I'll just sell off one of my cars and pay for it. Really? Yeah. Who on earth rejects such amounts of money? My 10 girl. million. 10 million, I'll reject it from a woman. Okay, baby, please, okay? If you love me. Of course you know I love you. I know. <laughs> so please. Are you sure you want to do this? Anything for my baby. Do I? More like it. Ten million cents. Oh my God! Ten millionaire. Mm -hmm. You're such an angel. Come here. <laughs> God, I can't, I can't believe. I'm so emotional right now. Okay, calm down. I want my baby to be happy. You need to be happy for me. You know. 
Of course, I'm happy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, I think you should come down. Of course, I'm down. I'll go in there and get you a glass of wine. Cool. And I'll make us something to eat. You're gonna love it. I'll be waiting. Hmm? I'm <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Joy. I'm the game master. One more could just fall now. This is so unusual. <laughs> what is going on? Why has Damien not called me yet? He doesn't even take my calls. His lines are always busy. What do I call this? So this guy actually came to do me. I just realized that his lines are not actually busy. He blocked me instead. What is my offense? What did I do? Where did I go wrong? I gave him my heart, my love, my money, and my body. <laughs> Yet, he did this to me. <laughs> what else did he want? Or where on earth did I go wrong? What did I do? <laughs> he has the gold to hurt me this way. Not even a goodbye. I just wake up one day to this strange behavior and now realizing that he is no more. <laughs> Where do I even find him? He never allowed me to know his place, let alone his friends. Always excuses. Different excuses. Why me? Where have I gone wrong? Where? Where? Remember their faces, don't you? Babe, I can explain. Alright? Everything happened because of poverty. And because you love to hurt people. And so wicked to be called a human. Right, Damien? I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sincerely sorry. Okay? Let's let's find a way to fix this. Please. Please. The only thing you are fixing is a date with my lawyer. You know what? 
I don't have so much time to waste on you. But trust me, you're gonna hear from my lawyer too. Boy. Eh, uh, just, just get out. Get out! All you trying is nonsense, lawyer. Are, are, are you using your lawyer to threaten me? Do you know how many lawyers I have? What nonsense? Just enter someone's house and start, start talk, talking rubbish, babe. Don't, don't mind the strangers. They're trying to break us. Okay? I, I, I love you so much and you know... The police are outside waiting for you. Get out. See you like this. Please. Ah, thank God you are here. She has been like this since morning. Melissa, are you still crying? It's okay now, it's okay. God, what is all this? It's okay, sis. Susan. Susan, it's okay. Let me just take it up for me, okay? All right. I can go. Let me try and get her something to oh, eat. Okay, better. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Melissa, it's okay, please. Lizzie. Yes. Lizzie is a fraud. He's a cheat. I know. It's okay. And a, and a liar. Oh, Jesus. He's a cheat. He's a fraud. He's a liar. I confirmed everything myself. I, I see you feel more better today. Oh yes, I do. I do. All thanks to you. Um, I just want to say thank you once again, Mr. Matsuo, for letting me see the truth. Thank you for saving my life. As a matter of fact, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. Oh, please sit down. Sit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You know, I have been meaning to ask you. I've been thinking, trying to find out how best to appreciate you for your smart moves, for saving my life. Of course, a promotion is coming with it. I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag now. But um, I also want to know if there's something special, anything you want me to do, anything, just mention it to make your life much I'm more comfortable. Yeah, let's say you can appreciate me by giving me your attention. Attention? Yeah. 100% attention. Mr. Maxwell, of course you have my attention. You have it. But I sure do know that is not all you want. And that is not all you need, so... Come on, say it. What do you want me to do for you? Well, uh, I think it's high time I introduce myself to you properly. <clears throat> yeah. My name is Maxwell Chukwemeka Elims. CEO Elims Oil and Gas. Is this some sort of joke? Come on, Maxwell, you 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 joke a lot. I am sure this is one of your jokes, but seriously, I am I am serious right now. I need you to tell me what you want. I mean, where, where did this one come from? Where did this come from? Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, a few weeks back, after returning to Nigeria, I met you in an office premises. Looking upset, walking towards the car park. I was curious, and I went to my secretary to find out what we came to do. And she said, Wanting to fix a meeting with me. Uh, needed an expansion with 
my company. Fast forward a long story. I, I was interested. I don't know if I'll call it uh, love at first sight or something. Yeah, I, I, I went into finding about your company and I found out your company was one of the leading companies in Nigeria. So I got more interested. And I decided to work under you, to know more about you and your business. Yeah. Actually, I think I need someone to hold me right now. Because I am totally losing my breath. For the fact that some of the things you said makes a lot of sense because as about, I think, how many months ago I was at Ellen's and I remember a young man approached me and I wasn't in a very good mood that day and you, you are the CEO of Ellen's Oil and Gas and you are working under me as an employee. To what end? Why? Love adventure. Yeah. You see, I I'm sorry I disguised myself for you. But you know what? I learned a lot during this process knowing about your business. I am speechless. Hmm. CEO Elims Oil and Gas. The boss himself. The man of the moment. The one that gave me the greatest shock of my life. I hope you're not here to tell me everything you told me the other day is a lie. Because I'm not going to believe you. Uh, hmm? on, on the contrary. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually came for business, okay? Oh, really? At the same time, I'm sorry I did not pass through the normal channel, getting an appointment before coming to see you. It's okay, mm -hmm. it's all right. At this point, I don't think the CEO of Ellie's Oil and Gas would have to go through any channel to have a meeting with me. <laughs> really? um, <laughs> no, but I'm serious about it. Anyway, speaking of, do you know I was going to call you today because I wanted to find out if you had time for dinner tonight? Oh, um, do you have anything up? Oh, yes. My mother would like to host you. She wants to say thank you for saving our company and most importantly, saving her daughter. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> glad. You would have to say that to her. <laughs> uh, so, are we on for tonight or maybe any other day you have oh, time? Yeah, tonight is good. Oh, tonight yeah. is fine? Yeah, it's fine. So, I would just have to forward the address to you. All right, all right. Um, okay, um, so <laughs> can we go straight to business? Right? <laughs> so, mommy, this is Maxo. Maxo, this is my mom. And that is my sister Susan. Oh, nice meeting you. You're welcome, Maswa. Thank you. You're welcome to our house. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Susan, how are you doing? Fine. You're welcome. Please make yourself happy. Uh, you came quite on time. <laughs> okay, I'm just um, dinner is set. So let's... Talking about my friend, we really miss. Yeah, it's how can you say I've forgotten about you when we're in this together? <laughs> what together? I am the single one here and you, you are the double one. <laughs> Do you know I have never thought of it like this? Mm -hmm. mm, come to think of it, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yours is so Hello, but right? really, babes, I am over the moon. Maxwell is just sweet. That guy, oh my god. 
he's so playful, he's so romantic, he's so down to earth. I mean, the guy is just everything. This guy has shown me the beautiful side of love, something I have never experienced in my life. Girl, I have never had it this good. <laughs> You're so much in love, you know, right? Oh, I am. You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, has he really told you what he wants? Um, well, he hasn't. But I believe the feeling is mutual. Okay. Well, I'm happy for you guys, you know. You know what? Just enjoy. You're very, really, really suffered, you know. Especially in the hands of the mom. Oh, my mom. <laughs> Maybe you don't know the latest. My mom is now a changed person. That woman you know then, it's no longer the woman we have now. As a matter of fact, all she wanted for me then was to just find a good man and get married and all that. So when I introduced Maxwell to her, she loved him. As a matter of fact, she calls him the savior of our company. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. This love story is very, very interesting. Oh, very I can't interesting. wait to really watch you and Maxwell unfold this your love story episode by episode you are in for a movie <laughs> but actually babes i i want to really appreciate you i mean you've been there you've been there all this while for me through ups and downs you've been there all the motions you saw it firsthand and you were there to console me i just want to say thank you and also thank you in advance because i know you're going to be there till the end you're not going anywhere you ain't going nowhere babes <laughs> you know i'm stuck here in for life right of course you've got no choice <laughs> please don't make me cry i don't want to cry oh please <laughs> <laughs> okay, come and take me to one exclusive restaurant i need to have some good lunch oh I thought you were not going to say that. Girl, can you stop eating? You, why are you such a foodie? You don't feel like my, my body why now. Are you, you want me to go sleep? Please, come and take me. Don't tell yourself the story. Come and take me. I want to Ah, uh, okay, you know what? I, it's lunch time. I, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, Melissa, you see, from the very first day, I set my eyes on you in my company. Something in me told me a day like this will come. I accepted it with all my feet and all I, I prayed towards it. I, yeah, please. Make me a real man. I want you to be the mother of my children. Allow me to love you till the end of time. Allow me to cherish you. Allow me to adore you. And allow me to treat you like the queen that you are. Please, I have this for you. Yeah. You marry me. Yes. <laughs> yes. God damn! <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes, mom. <laughs> he proposed to you. Yes, mom, he did. Oh, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. 
say oh my god, god. Sí, sí, sí. yes <laughs> you're welcome mm. i would call you my son because you've earned it Hi. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I remember coming to your house before that came to have dinner in your house. Uh, Lord, you can remember. But you, you encouraged me. You told me uh, your house. I could come to your house at any time. And, uh, that gave me the courage to mm. carry on and to do this. Thank you. Thank you. At the same time, Mom, I just want to know. I can let you know that your daughter is in safe hands. Okay? I know. I, I will cherish her to the end of time. Mm. She means the whole world to me. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you for finding her worthy to be your wife. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Susan. It's mommy. This calls for celebration. Of course. Go to my room. Inside my fridge. There is a special oh. wine there. Okay. Just carry it. Go and bring it. <laughs> Sit down, my in-law. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable as well. Thank you. Hey, Susan, hurry up! Thank you. Sometimes we find love in the least expected places. In my quest for love, who would have thought I will marry Maxwell? I never imagined my life with him. But here we are. He is not just sweet. Not just the sweetest person I have ever met in my life, but my billionaire husband. I am so proud of you, my love. I am so proud of you.